There are two types of patches, flush patches and scab or lap patches. The scab patch is an external patch where the edges of the patch and the skin overlap each other. The overlapping portion of the patch is riveted to the skin. Lap patches may be used in most areas where aerodynamic smoothness is not important. When repairing cracks or small holes with a lap or scab patch, the damage must be cleaned and smoothed. In repairing cracks, a small hole must be drilled in each end and sharp end of the crack before applying the patch. The patch must be large enough to install the required number of rivets. It may be cut circular, square, or rectangular. If it is cut square or rectangular, the corners are rounded to a radius no smaller than 1 slash 4 inch. The edges must be chamfered to an angle of 45 degrees for 1 slash 2 the thickness of the material, and bent down 5 degrees over the edge distance to seal the edges. A flush patch is a filler patch that is flush to the skin when applied it is supported by and riveted to a reinforcement plate which is, in turn, riveted to the inside of the skin. The doubler is inserted through the opening and rotated until it slides in place under the skin. The filler must be of the same gauge and material as the original skin. The doubler should be of material one gauge heavier than the skin. Accessibility to the damaged area and the instructions found in the aircraft maintenance manual affect the method of skin repair. Inaccessible skin from the inside is called closed. Open skin is accessible from both inside and outside. Usually, repairs to open skin can be made in the conventional manner using standard rivets, but closed skin repairs have to use special fasteners. The exact type to be used depends on the type of repair being made and the aircraft manufacturer. Damage to the aircraft skin in a non-pressurized area can be repaired by a flush patch if a smooth skin surface is required or by an external patch in non-critical areas. Step 1. Remove the damage. Cut the damage to a round, oval, or rectangular shape. Round all corners of a rectangular patch to a minimum radius of 0.5 inch. The minimum edge distance used is 2 times the diameter and the rivet spacing 4 to 6 the diameter. The size of the doubler depends on the edge distance and rivet spacing. The doubler material is of the same material as the damaged skin, but of one thickness greater than the damaged skin. The insert is made of the same material and thickness as the damaged skin. The size and type of rivets should be the same as rivets used for similar joints on the aircraft. The SRM indicates what size and type of rivets to use. Circumferential this cracks this training cracks session. may be created that runs we around the edge of the dimple.